you know, he's trying to knock the red in with the red. He's just played, and look at this shot. If this comes off, what a shot that is! That is unbelievable. That is the shot of this year's championship. Not only to pull it off, but to get on the black. Incredible. Yeah, even to see it. Never mind the line, never mind the pace. Dead weight. By Jingle. What a shot. Mark Williams not really too concerned, really, because he's not had a great chance in the last couple of frames. He's had a couple of half chances. Do <laughs> <laughs> you think he's worried? Excellent pot. But a good cannon needed. He's just gone too low on this black to make it easy. What a red this was. Fantastic. Needs a good cannon. Not a great cannon, but it's OK. We can go around the back of the black. And if he gets on the black nicely, a chance to Eight. get a 40 or 50 point lead. Five. Oh, that wasn't clean either. A few nerves out there. Nine. Slow down. Well, that is a bad shot. Anywhere but there. He might have a slight angle on this blue, but he needs some angle to get close to this pink because the black is tight to the cushion. Well, the question is now, how does he stay on the black from here? He's going to have to knock this in and go all the way around the table. That was a mistake. It was the shot from brown to blue, which was the bad shot. Stephen knows he's got half a chance here. What a huge frame this is now. This is all about pace. It looks pretty good. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, here's a question. Does he go for it? Hmm. I think Mark might, uh, at this stage, I can't see him going for this. Very tough, Mark, isn't it, this? He can't go for this. He must knock the black around the table. Well, he's looking at the angle. Perhaps at, at some pace, though, Dave, he could take the black away from the pocket. I think he's going for this. Yes. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. Yes, the shot of the match, no question at all. Stephen Hendry was closing in on that frame, but Mark Williams pots an unbelievable black atop the, across the top cushion. He trails now just 6-4. But look at this shot he's played. Look at the shot he's played there. Oh. Well, that was unlucky, unless he can get through the gap for the one to the centre. 75. I think he can. Still a possibility of a century then. Well played. Well, it's got to be 4 3, 7 frames played, and 1 hour 15 minutes of actual playing time. Incredible. Great match. <laughs> Eighty one. Eighty two. Williams yet to make a century this season. He's got a great chance to here. Eighty eight. <laughs> He's got Williams at it here. <laughs> I think Aaron might need a visit to the hospital after this one. Both Welsh, of course. Good friends off the table. <laughs> well, it's been played in a good spirit, isn't it? 96. Uh, it's really excellent snooker, this black for a century. 103. <laughs> oh. 
Well, it's like an exhibition at the moment, not a ranking event quarter final. There's that peculiar shot Mark Light's played on, under the body. Oh, this is great stuff. 123. Yes, the qualifying competitions have been a bit of a culture shock. Quite a few players. 129. It's a total clearance after all. Oh, William. 136. And that was <laughs> This would be some shot. Swipe. What a shot that was. He's walking. He's walking. Oh. He knew it was in as soon as he struck it. He's forced it round. He's done really well to get here. Needs to slow up. It has done. Okay. That's an excellent... 78. Oops. 79. It's slipping away slightly. He's at the point of no return. Eighty-five. This is one of those shots again, John, where it's almost as good as being able to play right-handed, isn't it? Never misses that shot. Oh, but is it? It's an amazing shot. The only player in the game to play it like that. Already made two century breaks in the the match, and this looks like number three coming up. He's had break of 107 Thank in the first, 132 in the sixth. When it looked odds on, he was going to make the highest break of the tournament. Three ball plant. He already had one. And there's another one. That's the four. Mark, though, he's left his pot on and should Graham get tight on the ball cushion for the chance to pot the green, he could pinch this frame because brown and blue, pink are all in open positions. It's just about getting good position on this green, and it's on with the angle he's got. trying to put some body swerve into me. <laughs> Shall we kiss, miss the kiss on the blue? If he had a missed the kiss on the blue, he would have been right on the green perfect. He won't be playing a pot from here. Oh, will he? <laughs> oh, will he? Oh. Grab about two. This is the shot, and if he goes by the green, he won't leave it on. But yeah, excellent shot, <laughs> super shot. 17 points ahead. Just having a look at the scoreboard. Can have a go at this brown. It is potable. You can play it as a shot to nothing. It's there. Yeah. Oh, and Graham got the cue ball in behind the brown. He must have been thinking, oh, I'm favourite to win this frame now. And he has done another shot. Excellent escape from the snooker. Won the frame. <laughs> Oh, 
something special. <laughs> Just typical Mark Williams. Well, that is one way to test your cue action. Four opportunities needed. But in the end, not in the pin. The wow, what a start from Mark Williams. Now have a look at this. Now, if you're right behind a black, you would maybe try that. But the pink's miles away. Look where the pink is. Well, that's... That's the, the favourite. No, oh, fabulous shot. Fabulous shot. <coughs> Found a beautiful line and a wonderful length. It's one of those frames now because both players have had chances. It's taken on a, a great. <laughs> Argy bargy! Harry was walking, went to go past. And Mark said, go on on your way and give him the push. <laughs> you see, it's almost like he's trying to hit two rounds. <laughs> well, we saw a bit of a shoulder charge this afternoon. I think he got a kick. I think he got a bad contact Seven, John because the blue seemed to straighten up there. And that was frame ball. You can tell by the reaction from John. The blue definitely straightened up. What a time to get a kick. And John, well, he can smile about it. He's, he's a smashing lad, but that must hurt. <laughs> Blue is safe though for Williams. Wow! Can you believe that, Clive? I, I couldn't believe that he played it. But he doesn't even play it, he got it. He's got to play another one though. Incredible, this. 11. Mark Williams completes the BBC Grand Slam. Here we go with that shot maker. You say, look at that, the way he cues at that. I mean, that's good. Here we go again. He's going to clear up playing like this. <laughs> Here we go, the third one. I mean, I know the crowd are laughing, but he does it so well. He enjoys doing it. Look. <laughs> Good safety shot. He's trying to convince himself because obviously it's the it's the unmissable pot. It's a frame ball. From that view, it doesn't look on. But let's say Mark's got a better view than us. You know, he's decided against. <laughs> it's dead to have a look at it now. <laughs> Yeah, as long as he shifts it. Oh, what a shot. <laughs> well, he didn't have the edge on the way down. And that was an excellent shot. That's exactly what he played. <laughs> Wonderful. You know, I honestly will say this, he's the only player in the game that would have thought of that shot. And no fuller. What a shot. What a shot to a thought of. 
wonderful. He's trying to make it. He's trying to make it. Brilliant. There's value. Oh, wow. Oh, oh he's maybe not on the ground, but what a win. trying to shove this red out. Best shots I've seen at the Crucible. This. Here we go. Goes round Sorry. the pink, round about now. There's the swerve. This might be one who might not even look at the cue ball when he hits this. There you go. Oh. No, no, you're kidding me. I've seen it, but I don't you. believe it. I don't know why he was amazing shot. It was the biggest fluke you'll ever see in your life. <laughs> There's no, nothing, nothing good about that. I was just total luck. Well, if you think I played that then. <laughs> I, I, uh, I come in here naked and do the press conference. Oh, well, uh. Yeah, it's, it's an unbelievable story, really. 12 months ago, I'm thinking about chucking it. You and I am. <laughs> all look naked. Uh, I mean, to be honest, if I won this next year, I'd do it again. I'd come a cartwheel around here naked next year. <laughs> Can I breathe out now? <laughs> <laughs>